<laughs> All right. So, so legally, Leo Clark doesn't get you very far. Yes, I'm Leonardo Ribeiro. <laughs> Leonardo Ribeiro. I mean, that, <laughs> to me, that sounds cool, right? <laughs> okay. Leonardo Ribeiro. <laughs> Maybe I should change my artistic name. Uh, so, Leo, thank you for coming in today. Welcome to the show. Thank uh, you. I'm, I'm keen to chat with what we're going to talk about here. Uh, I'm interested in film. I'm interested in NFTs uh, and also some of the, the social media tech that actually you got me into just in the last week or so. So let's start with the film. Cool. Can you can you tell us about it? I'll just say here, the, the U.S. premiere is coming up. Yes. Uh, so by the time this comes out, it'll probably be in a couple of days um, after. And this is the American Documentary and Animation Film Festival. And that's going to be in California. Yes. Can you tell us about it? Palm Springs, California, March 22nd. March 22nd. Yeah, Will yeah. you be going? Uh, no, unfortunately, no. Okay. Yeah. But your work is traveling yes, there. Yes. Our film is there. That's what matters, right? Well, thank you for having me. This is great to be here. And the film, I should start with the film, right? It's um, a documentary about Dean Harvey. He's an NFT pixel artist from Nelson, New Zealand. And I found out about him because of Nouns, which is a, a whole other topic we should talk about. For sure. But the, the, the goal of the film is to show how NFTs are changing people's lives, especially artists. And that's what the story is about. You know, he used to be like a, an editor, like a freelance guy, filming and editing. And he got into NFTs and he did well. He's a great pixel artist and he made a, a living out of it. So, And so you share a similar background in that sense? You know all about editing yourself? Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> I, I can feel his pain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so, I mean, so I, I've seen the film. I saw it once last year. Uh, you posted it up and you recently let me view it again. And I mean... Tell us about Dean. Like he seems like such a, such a down to earth Kiwi guy. He seems like a bit of a nerd as well. Exactly. Yeah. That's that's the type of uh, story that I'm really uh, passionate about. He's like he's really he, he didn't know what it was. He he didn't he didn't even know what the blockchain was. Yeah. Right. So he heard about it that some friends were doing well selling NFTs. And he actually went through like four, three to four months of just research, you know, just learning the technology, you know. And I love the, that moment that most of us have when we first get into the crypto space and the, the crypto money becomes like real money. <laughs> like, so he sold his first NFT. It's like, what is this? And then it's in his bank account. And it's like, wow, this is real. And then he just kept on going you know like and like with most successful stories is dedication and work right he really <laughs> spent time like just making art uh, i recently um, watched an interview with jack butcher and he has a great line like you want to do good art just make more art you know like yeah and that sounds to me like what dean did you know like he kept at it, you know. So and so, did you see his work, and you thought, like, how, how did you, how did you turn into, how did you, like, you ring him up, and you're like, hey, my name's Leo, can I, can I come <laughs> yeah. make a film about you? That's exactly what happened. Really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, it all goes back to nouns. I was in, I was being a part of the community in the nouns Discord since September 2021. And slowly, those slowly some projects start to get funded, and most of the people getting funded are either artists or developers, because that's what crypto and NFTs are mostly about. Right. But surely some media and social media and film and more of what I do, filmmaking uh, projects were starting to come up to to show up, and. But I didn't know what can I do here in New Zealand, you know, like who can I, I'm, I'm the only p person in now here in New Zealand, who am I going to talk <laughs> to, you know? 
And then I found out that Dean had done a project called Now Cats. Now Cats. Now Cats. Yeah. Which is a, a like a sub DAO, like a. a, a since now the CCO, you can just grab the assets, take the code, and do whatever you want with it. And Dean got together with Backseat, which is the developer, and they launched a brand new PFP project based on Nows, using the, the Nows assets and doing a, a version of Cats, basically. <laughs> which is, that's such a classic NFT thing to do, right? Like yeah, Exactly. It's, it's a remix. <laughs> there you go. And... Yeah, and and that's when I that's when I realized that that's the guy I'm looking for, and obviously I I reached out. I, we had uh, like a long phone call, and uh, and I, as we as we kept talking to each other, and I'm studying his work. It all made sense, you know. He's a really cool guy, and and I love his work. And so, what do you highlight in the documentary? You, you go through this journey of like starting. He did the noun cats before he met you. Yes. Uh, and then what was he working on when you got to him? He was working well by by the time I actually went down to Nelson to talk to him, the crypto and NFT space actually went down, right? And but he kept working on his one on ones and like experimenting, and he never stopped selling art as far as I know. Sometimes there are better times, sometimes there are slower times, but he never stopped, you know. And is it, I, I saw the credits, so I know there's a few people that helped you here, but are you like a sort of a, just a one man production company? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is that I was funded in Ethereum and I left uh, the funds in Ethereum. Right, you didn't convert them to I dollars. I didn't convert into dollars straight away. And it was a week before the, the major crash, like June 22. <laughs> so the budget went from 60,000 to 20,000. Oh no. That was bad. So that's why it took so long to, to make the film. I said, what am I gonna do? So I, I got the interviews out of the way, I say like the main interview, but the soundtrack, the visual effects, yeah. the, that had to wait. <laughs> and so you're organizing all of this yourself? Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm director producer. Yeah, okay. If I had the full budget, maybe I'll get a friend or a partner yeah. producer to help me out. But And it's your vision then that is yeah. now going to be it. So what what's it like? I've never, you know, made something and sent it to a film festival. What's that what's that process like? And like what do you hope to get out of it? Yeah, that's what not only with the festival, but with the film and everything that I do, I realize that I'm always trying to show people what this is. is you know, like I want more people to be into crypto, NFTs, and now, you know, yeah. and now forecaster as well. Yeah. And so I try to tell inspiring stories so that people at least get curious about and go check, check it out, you know, go experiment themselves, you know, and maybe join the movement. I mean, the the crash, that's such a crypto-specific problem, right? Yes. Like, yeah. get access to funds. Yeah. Obviously, they come in kind. Uh, and then you never know what's just around the corner. Uh, you know, treasuries have this problem as well, right? Yeah. Where they have token allocations. Uh, and yes. then they have big plans. And sometimes big plans take a long time. And we don't know what the market is going to hold in the future. Yeah. Um, like being able to transition from having, you know, peak cycle hype and being like, yes, I can do all this stuff. And then, oh, but it's going to take me six months to do it, for example. Right. Uh, and like, so did you just, did you just sort of cut things out? Did you like? Yeah, I didn't. I just, <laughs> I just, wait. Uh, I was like uh, naive and I was, I was, I was in awe of Perfect. this group. To rip, so I, yeah. I never thought to bother to, to change to to trade that into dollars and I was like crypto is a beautiful magic I just left it there and it was really fast like a week so I just waited yeah and like like you asked about instead of having a producer I did everything yeah. myself and